Hey, thanks for joining me uh, for another video on the RC Air building series. Today we're going to talk about hinge point failures. We're going to look at hinges, tear apart a few um, elevators, look at how robots and flat hinges uh, look after a plane has been assembled and flown for a little while. Um, hope this content's helpful. If you like it, share it. I appreciate your time. All right, we're going to talk about hinging and glue and um, w what a good hinge job looks like and what a bad one does and the difference between good and bad and how quickly a, a plane can fail because of it. So I got this plane. The guy had uh, broken the flat hinges and so he went in and he replaced them with Robarts. So what he did is he cut right through the hinge and then he went right to the side of the hinge and put a robot in on each one of these. Now, that sounds like it would work, but listen here. Okay, if you've ever heard that click, that click is a hinge that is giving. So I want you to look at this hinge I want you to look at this hinge right here and you can see it's nice and tight and then as it opens it clicks and you can see that hinge is just extracting right out of the surface. That hinge does not hold the plane at all or does not hold the surface at all. So what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to go through and cut these out. Let's look at the reason why this happened, okay? First of all, he broke the hinges, the flat hinges. The reason why he broke the flat hinges is because they weren't aligned right down the hinge line. You had one hinge here and one hinge up here, one hinge low, one hinge high. And so when they turned, this one would bind where this one didn't, and eventually this one would tear and break off, okay? Especially if they're, they're hinged well, if they're glued well, okay? So, what he did is by putting the robarts in the side, he went to the side of the hard point. So essentially, all he did is just went into the small balsa of that leading edge of the elevator, and therefore it's not holding anything. The hinge points weren't aligned, so a little tiny bit of pressure, and now we have a clicking hinge, okay? And I want to show you what I've found. Um, I went through and, and tore a bunch of planes apart, uh, or got pieces and parts and, and went through them, and I want to show you where I have found problems, okay? Let's go with the horns to start with, okay? So with the horn, a good well glued horn will not move and this is a critical this is a critical point because this point is where the servo put, surface puts or the servo puts all the pressure on and then it puts it is the lever that moves the surface so this being mounted very solid is a big deal one of the things that has to happen is when you are inserting these, you have to go through and sand them really well before you epoxy them and you slide them down in. Um, if you don't, you start getting this. Okay, and if we... There. See? That was all broken and then it was just a matter of just pulling that out with a little bit of pressure. So you have your area that's in there and this just comes right out. So what ends up happening is it looks like your servo has slop, but your horn is actually, your servo looks like it has slop, but your horn is moving back and forth. Then your elevators aren't centering and then eventually you might crash the plane. So I want you to look at the right hand elevator on this plane. So this is a 40% and 
it just kept feeling loose when I would fly, but I would go through, I would check, and it would seem like the surfaces were just not aligned. And what ended up happening is I did a slow-mo on this and started watching it, and you can see that the elevators are bouncing. If you look here, you can see it bounce quite a bit. Well, I thought it was slopping the servo, and then as I went in and I pulled everything apart and pulled the linkage apart, I was able to grab onto the horn and pull the horn out, and this is what it looked like. If it's nice and solid, and you rip it out, this is what it looks like when you rip one that is solid out. So these hinges, I just grabbed onto with a set of pliers and just yanked them out. And you can see right here, there's a small amount of epoxy that was deep down inside and a big open hinge line, okay? If we look on these hinges, you can see there's just a little bit of epoxy right here on the very end. The rest of these hinges are completely clean. There's, there's nothing on them. These are out of the 40% that I got. And you can see there's, uh, the light catches it. You can see little drops of epoxy in there. None of the holes are filled really. These hinges I was able to just grab a hold of and literally just yank them right out of the hinge line, okay? When you're buying a used plane or, or you know, getting a used plane, it's a big deal. This is what a good hinge should look like. That is just completely solid all the way through. All of the uh, holes are epoxied. And so we've got a handful of good hinges here. You can see these ones have all been epoxied well. So you can see exactly where the wood was. And there's epoxy on the back side of each one of these, but there's no wood attached to it. So these had went through and then attached to the, to the wood and on the other side. Which means what this one did is it went through and this is where the wood was and the epoxy was really on the back side of the wood. It wasn't even holding into anything, so if it wasn't for these hinges, these hinges wouldn't have held anything. And there's, there's several of them. When, when I was a kid, Christmas was my favorite time of the year because it meant I was going to get a bunch of toys that I would end up tearing apart to find out how they worked. The way that I have learned how to do a lot of my building and all of that is just by understanding how things work and how they're put together and then kind of reverse engineering things. So this plane was crashed. You can see the counterbalance has been broken off. Okay. So looking at the Robart hinges, you can see the hinge, uh, the hard point here. Um, what I am seeing is none of these Robart hinges have epoxy on them. There's no epoxy, no glue whatsoever. So just out of curiosity, let's see what they look like from the inside. All right, now that we've got the hard point out, the hinges there, go ahead and we're going to just dissect this and see what it looks like. So if you look there, you can see, I mean, there's, there's a small amount of epoxy that you can see right in here. This hinge itself, there's, there's nothing on it. With these Robart type hinges, if you're using epoxy, it's really important to lightly sand the hinge point itself because the hinge, um, it, it, it will not, the epoxy will not adhere to it. So I'm in my hard point, I grab it, and, and I was able to just pull that right out. Um, in total, 
the wood on this hard point or the wood on this hinge you can see is virtually nothing so that's all the epoxy that was holding this hinge so I'm just going to do a nice quick strength test to see how these hinges ended up going and look at this fascinating so these hinges have literally no epoxy on them they've not been sanded and so the epoxy didn't adhere to them there's no wood that is adhered the holes are still empty so really I mean this hole was holding this hole was holding um, nothing on this we have one hole so realistically the strength that was in this this elevator was really those two pins those two pins was really the difference between this plane coming apart and staying together um, that's 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 not good enough um, if you are building if you are hinging take the time to really do a good job with the glue it matters it matters a lot so you can see I actually popped this one apart and there's quite a bit of glue on here there's quite a bit of adhesive um, still not seeing the hinges themselves sanded the hinge points are not sanded but there are uh, these hinges have little barbs on them and so the barbs have actually grabbed the epoxy and held them in um, backside not really a great job uh, there's still quite a bit more epoxy on these which is good it looks like the epoxy was maybe rubbed into the hinge point and not both sides were done uh, into the hinge gap but um, not sure that the the hinges themselves were epoxied here's a set of robarts now I think this is going to be really interesting because I have a lot of movement I was able to pop that out it didn't even take the center section out that's nice so there's there's the horn uh, you can see some epoxy on there um, I don't know it doesn't look like they were these may have been sanded uh, possibly I mean I see a lot of scuff marks perhaps the hinge point wasn't wetted uh, one of the things that you want to do is make sure that you get epoxy down in there so when you push it in it, it, you know you can clean it up but when you push it in it better ooze out you need to cover everything this has been sealed and with this hinge point sealed it actually adds a tremendous amount of strength it's it's surprising when I go to pop this um, if I pop it from this side it's not gonna come but I can see that the hinge is moving I mean there's there's movement there so going on the opposite side where there isn't a, uh, a gap seal watch this yeah it broke the hinges it didn't break the, the um, hinges out okay uh, this is the same um, this is the same rudder as what we just experienced with the the hinge that didn't have anything on it so my guess is it's going to be the same um, I'm not going to go ahead and tear it apart um, pretty interesting stuff um, if you're going through and you're building a plane or if you are purchasing one used um, your hinge points are, are incredibly important um, there's no way to know without taking it apart so just like with this Flex your hinges, if you hear noises, if you hear popping, if you get binding, anything, stop. Look at it, understand what's going on. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you're seeing, please uh, like the video or subscribe. Uh, share the video would be great. Um, 
There's plenty of content like this and more that will be added to rc-air.com. It's my Club Connect system where we are providing uh, RC clubs with the ability to uh, manage their membership, connect with other clubs, promote events, do all of those things, and it's all tailored for RC people. So uh, thanks for your time. Hope to see you again soon.